Welcome to the 18 Demon Claw Podcast, where we discuss everything Kung Fu, philosophy, healing, spirituality, magic, and much more. And you're listening to The Last Emperor, The Lord General, The One and Only, Sifi What's good, Warriors? It's your boy Sifu G, and welcome back to another 18 Demon Claw podcast. And this episode five is on the infamous white eyebrow system, but may pie, and particularly on the Do family, but may pie. As you know, over my life of kung fu almost 40 years now of Yolkumun and Yolkumun has its roots and traces back to Grandmaster Joan Lai Chung of Bat Mei Pai but many people over the years have criticized me my style of Yolkumun it's lesser style of Bat May or it's Bat May a sister style. And then once people found out I was doing Do Family Bat May, then Do Family or Grandmaster Do Way cop the bashing, verbal bashing over the years, saying he's fake, his style is fake, he made it all up. But what about other styles? Such as Jern Lai Chun Bat Mei, Yol Kung Mun. Because I know that Jern Lai Chun created most of his pie, the Bat Mei he got, or supposedly got, was about four or five core forms, and he created the rest. Yolkumun, Ha Hon Hong Sigong, or Sijo, he created a couple of forms and added to his own version. I myself created a set called Fu Pauku, Tiger and Leopard, and I guarantee my set will trump many of the sets I've fucking learnt anyway. So, what is original? Someone had to fucking make it up. And if Grandmaster Du Wei did make it up, he's a fucking genius. But let's not talk about all that. Let's talk about the question I got. Why did I decide, decide to learn the Du family Bart May Po? Back in the 90s, we all knew there was Kung Fu magazines and I got to see uh, articles written by Jim Lacey on Bat May Do Family and the White Tiger System. I got to get my hands on the footage, and even though it was poorly demonstrated, I could see some goodness in those sets. To me, I don't give a fuck about lineage. I look at what works. And even though there may be some similarities in movements, names, they are completely different. In the discussions and chats I've had with Grandmaster Dubai, I got to learn a lot of information on his style of Bart May or his family's Bart May and I believe he's got a fetish, a Bart May fetish similar to me and that's why I've been researching many different Bart May systems and got to train like I said in Hong Kong, Guangzhou I've known people here that are Bart May Sifus from Vietnam so I've got to cross hands with a lot. 
and see what they do and how they teach and what they teach, what forms they got. I've got manuals of all the Bapme as well that all in Chinese that was given to me. All the poetry is very similar right throughout all Hakka arts. They all use the same type of terminology, power generation, even Southern Praying Mantis and the Lung Ying, Dragon Style. But all the styles are being made up by someone and many Sifus over the generations decide to add to, take out, or teach a particular part of that style. I've got a good friend, a Sifu up in Sydney, Sifu Johnny Lee, Southern Prey Mantis. He's been practicing and teaching uh, his style of uh, Southern Mantis. He's learned from Chowgar as well Juk Lam in Hong Kong. He's met many Sifus himself. And through conversations with him, even Southern Praying Mantis only had one long set or a couple of long sets, one, 108 movements. I was told that through other Sifus that Southern Praying Mantis, I think it was Chowgar, had uh, 108 moves and then it was split into San Sao and created more forms to create a bigger system. So is it wrong to create something, make it better if you believe it's better? I don't go after the lineage because at the end of the day, I go with what works. And I prefer differences rather than similarities. The Do Family But Me has core sets, and those core sets are 108 movements. And to Grandmaster Do Wei, those are the original sets of But Me. The training sets that go with it are to help students progress into the highest sets because it's not easy doing a fast form with 108 movements each side and then a, an ending. You have to be quite fit. And my experience with Yolkumun and Jun Lai Chun Bap Mei, the sets are only small. The only longest set in Bap Mei would be Samon Bakwa, right? <clears throat> the four door, eight gate fist. But if you go up into the Golbo Toy, Malfu Chatlam, they're all very short. Sup up more kill. I could have the whole form on a demo done in public when I demonstrate within 18 seconds. So there's not many moves, right? <clears throat> When I got to speak with Grandmaster Du Wei on the computer, yes, I learnt all my Kung Fu from Grandmaster Du Wei via video correspondence, online chatting, uh, uh, webcam, and so forth. But without my prior knowledge and experience in Yolkumun, Jun Lai Chung, but me, I would never be able to pick it up so good. So Grandmaster Du Wei was very happy with uh, how I was taught and was able to teach me many, many different types of methods from the Du family and the styles or sub-styles. He told me that the 108 moves are the original Bap May, and I was told by another Southern Praying Mantis master, I won't mention these names, but I was told that all 
mantis and a lot of Hakka arts can trace back to Bartme and he always said that 108 move forms were the original sets when I met and started the show oh the first thing the first form that I got to send Grandmaster Du Wei before I learnt his style of Bart May he asked me to send him Gobble Toy, nine step push of Yolkuman. So I videoed it, done the best demo I could, sent it off to him uh, online. He's watched it <clears throat> and he goes, Wow, your Sifu torch is so good. He goes, But where's the rest of the form? And I'm like, what he goes why is your form only so little so many moves and that got me thinking like well that's what i was taught super you know like this is how yolkamon and jen like he goes don't you know that the original sets are 108 moves he goes there's two halves to the the gobble toy it, it, it turns around does it again on the other side I'm like, whoa, All right? <clears throat> so, why did I decide to learn his butt maze? Because I'm after something different. I have a butt maze fetish, always have. So ever since I was 15, but before that, I was always watching all the Shaw brothers and I knew about butt May back then. So to learn something from Grandmaster Duway that doesn't res or it's not ex not the same as Yolkul Moon or Jun Lai Chun Bart May, it freaks people out and people start getting angry that it's not from Jun Lai Chung, then it's not real. But then what is real from Jun Lai Chung? Because he made fucking a lot of his forms up, probably six or seven sets. So what the fuck are people crying about? All right? But let me say one thing. These 108 move sets, these core sets of the Do family, have a lot more hands than Yolkomon and Jern Lai Chum, uh styles. It also has its own inner alchemy and hey gong and every but may system i've got to talk to and and uh, experience a lot of the masters go and learn tai chi because they don't have an internal side a so-called soft part of their art or meditation some people add tibetan meditations like in hong kong some sifus right so what is fucking complete if you're adding from outside into your butt may when grandmaster duway says no his family has its own hey gong noi gong seated and stand and practice it's titha medicine two man sets weapons there is some forms in the Du family that have the same name of some Jern Lai Chung sets but they are completely different so where did Jern Lai Chung get his names from right <clears throat> so to me I don't give a fuck about all oh, I come from a direct lineage of Yolkumun's Grandmaster or Jern Lai Chung or Ip Soy or this or that because at the end of the day who fucking cares what, what matters is what works for you and how you can express it you can have the best so called lineage train under the best master but you cannot fucking do it 
can't express the gang what they talk about. Gang time gang, this gang, gang jack gang. All this type of gang is not hard to do. But they make it out of a mysterious type of uh, force. And that will lead students on and on and on for years and teach them wrongly. So to me, lineage is absolute rubbish when it comes to practicality. And I prefer to do something different rather than learn another art that's so similar. Grandmaster Duway also told me that <clears throat> this style of, his family style of Bart May kind of resembles more of Southern Mantis which I actually agree with. I think a lot of Mantis is in this style or maybe Mantis take it from Bart May, which I was always taught that all Hakka art stem from Bart May and then leaked out into a, 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 style, a different style under a different name, but kept the same type of power poetry some may have changed certain poetry to suit the narrative but at the end of the day i don't care it's what i like to fucking do but to rubbish a sufu that's taught so many worldwide healed stars of the rich and famous he must have known something and these people that rubbish grandmaster do way and you know who you are and I guarantee you listening it's a shame because these people also that rubbish my sifu use his titha medicine and sell his fucking formulas so they're shit cunts and I got zero respect for them and they know who they are but if I can show his family version and I learnt it online than anyone can if you put in the time. So all the bickering, oh it's not uh, pure, how do you fucking know? Maybe this 108 versions forms, the corsets, are the real versions and you're just jealous motherfuckers. Because I know a lot of Bart May people and not many can fucking do it well. And not many can even show the proper ging. So, if you're coming from a, ooh, coming from the direct lineage of a certain sifu, why can't you express the fucking ging? So, talk is cheap. Put the fucking work in. Show your kung fu the best you can. And people might respect it. I guarantee many of the people that are talking shit about Do Family But Me and myself. I'm 53, I guarantee I can do a form faster, harder than most of you out there. Keep up with you young fuckers. The weapons are totally different to Journal Light and But Me as well. But I am proud to have learnt from many and I respect all Yao Gumun, Jen Lai Chun Bap Mei, because without them too, my knowledge wouldn't be that good or wouldn't be as good to have learnt online and video through Grandmaster Du Wei. So rather than bicker and all that bullshit, Fucking train and show your hand. Be proud of that. But to sit on the couch, oh, I wouldn't have tapped. <laughs> Those type of fucking knuckleheads. Get off your ass, train, show your power, show your speed. Because Batme is based on speed and power, timing, rather than 
looking stiff and moving like a robot. So at the end of the day, when it comes to reality on the street, does your Yolkumun work? Does your Mantis work? Have you trained it correctly in the mindset of combat rather than, oh, I just learned another form. 40 years later, another form. Are you fucking kidding me? You should be able to produce Ging within a month or two. A certain type of power, enough to be able to hold your own on the street. <clears throat> if not, you haven't been learning. You've just been practicing forms, and forms do not teach Ging. Ever. You can't punch the air and go, oh, I've got Ging. No. It's, can you punch something hard? Hitting bags develops the right muscle groups, the bone density, the hip power, the drill through. Have you got all the looking, all your joints in unison when you're dropping the power or you're rising or you're contracting, expanding with your movements? Ging is felt, not seen. So all the shaking you see in Tai Chi and they're doing the chens and ooh, ooh. You see all the um ging, oh, they're doing all these forms and, oh, and they're tensing up and all that. That's not ging. Hitting things develops ging. That's why boxers will outdo any fucking kung fu guy that does forms. Because they haven't developed any ging except wanking, <laughs> tossing off, right? When you hit things, you develop your muscle groups, you build on that. Like I said, many Kung Fu guys can't even punch a fucking bag properly or kick a bag properly. Hit the mitts for a good few rounds. So, you know, when we talk about the full cup and breathing, you know, I get my students to do bag work, speed punching, right? One minute, boom, and then relax. Check your cardio out for sure, right? But you get someone that mouths off, oh, my butt is from a certain Sifu. I don't give a fuck at all. I've seen, I've met so many Sifus. Good demos, some of them. Same as Yao Moon, but lack the real ging when when we meet, when I hold a pad, I'll say, let, punch, punch me, let me feel, you know, not, nothing. Looking good with the pajamas on again, shaking the body, is not ging. Snapping the, the power out looks good, but it's not ging. Ging is felt not seen tau bless until next time don't hate on don't hate on sifu g or his butt me because at the end of the day i don't give a fuck i've seen it all i've seen it we've got multimedia now i can watch all your butt me sets all yoko moon sets all white tiger southern mantis dragon and the Guaylos, they go harder than most of the Chinese, and I keep saying that because they got more respect for the art. They go harder at the, the reality side of it than the, what I've seen in Hong Kong and that. Because it's all based, Sifus are based on, oh, how many forms you got. I don't want a fucking Sifu that's done nothing, right? Or hasn't produced one fighter. So, even when I put my student in back in 92 or 91, 92, and he knocked out a, a trolley fight fighter in the first round, I seen a butt me go in and fight, and he got knocked out very quick. So, does lineage met, uh, count at the end? No, it doesn't. Not when we all know that 
it's been made up as well by the same person. So at the end of the day, everything's made up, but has it been made up smart enough? That's the question. Peace out, tell bless, have a lovely Christmas, stay healthy, train your fucking ass off, be the best you can be. Don't worry about lineages, worry about reality because today we need it more than ever. Real life Kung Fu, not fucking form fairies. Ciao.